Vayavai Avram, this is where the Sarvath of Kaisa, the Pasha starts with the sad recounting of the death of Sarah and the burial of Sarah. And it says that Avram came to eulogize Sarah and to cry for her. Lispa the Sarvath of Kaisa. Medr said, interesting, Medr says, from where did Avram come? Avram, Vayavai Avram. We know the famous answer that he was by the Akedah and he came from the Akedah. The Medr gives a different answer. Rabbi Levi says he came from bearing Terach. Happened at the same time. Interesting, we read in Lechelcha already many parashas ago that Terach died, but chronologically it happened now. That's what Reb Levi holds. Reb Levi holds Terach died, he went to bury Terach. He heard that Sarah died, he came running and he came to bury Sarah. Why is this important that he came from Terach to Sarah? What's the connection between burying Terach and burying Sarah? Another question we can ask, why does it say, Vayove Avram lispoit le Sarah v'lif kaisa? It already says in the Pasuk, Vatoma Sarah, Sarah died. We know who died. He came to cry, to eulogize, to eulogize her. Why does the, why does the Torah repeat the word Sarah two times in this in this pasuk? A question that the Shem Shul brings up, and another another third question that we can ask over here. There's another strange medrash about Avram. Pasuk says in Mishle, he who runs after Tzedakah and Chesed. Who are we talking about? Says the Medrash. Somebody who runs after Tzedakah and Chesed. Who is that? Who runs after Tzedakah and Chesed? Right after Tzedakah and Chesed. That's Avram Avinu. How do we know? Because he came to to bury, to eulogize Sarah, and to cry for her. That shows the tzitkis, the chesed of Avram. We could have found a hundred, a hundred, a hundred, a hundred examples of Avram's chesed, of Avram's tzedakah. This is where we find Avram's tzedakah. A person's wife dies. Any normal person will cry. Any normal person will will will, will, will start giving hespeid and will be masked with his wife that died. This is not the place, place to find the tzedakah and the chesed, the, the unbelievable tzedakah and the chesed. The, to bring an example for Avram's tzedakah and chesed, says the Shem Shmuel, to answer all these three questions gives a beautiful explanation. Shem Shmuel says, we know that the Medrash tells us that Kodesh Baruch told Avram Avinu, you are not Chayim Kibbut Avayim. You're Potter from Kibbut Avayim. Why are you Potter from Kibbut Avayim? No, we can understand. You're the father like Terach, who was an idol worshiper, somebody who gave him over to, to Nimrod to throw him into a burning furnace. Avram, Hashem said, listen, you, you got to cut ties. This guy, this, this, this guy is not a person that you want to have a relationship with. Ah, Kibbut Avayim. Don't worry about Kibbut Avayim. A person, a father who's giving you over to the authorities to throw you into a Kibshanayim. You don't have to honor him. But the Maitre says, the Shem Shmuel says, there's a deeper, there's a deeper vart over here. Avram Avinu was a ger. Avram Avinu came to the knowledge of Amunas HaKadosh Baruch Amunas HaBayre. He became like a ger. He became like a cotton chanel. It says, says HaKadosh Baruch you have no relationship with this man Terah. You are a new person. That person who was your father is not your father anymore. You're like a ger. It's like a cotton chanel domi. It has halachic ramifications. According to halach, we don't do it, but according to Allah, a brother and a sister, a guy, we know they're, according to strict Allah, they're allowed to get married. Why? Because they're cut and chanel, but new people. Avram is a new person, says Hashem. Your potter from Kibbut Avayim, this is not your father. What do we see? Avram went to bury Terah. Can you imagine? Such a Rosh Marusha, somebody who gave him over to the authorities and he died. Let him die and let him, let him, let him die and let him rot in his death. No, Avram went to bury her. He came from there to bury Sarah, says the Pasuk. Vayove, says Rabbi Levi, Vayove, from this part of Sarah. There's a connection between the burial of Terach and the burial of Sarah. Why? Why, says the Shem Shmuel, does the Torah repeat the word Sarah, this part of Sarah? Can you imagine, says the Shem Shmuel, the emotional state of Avram when he's coming and he sees that he has to bury his, 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 his wife. His wife, he lived so many decades with this woman. They went through so many trials and tribulations together, waiting for a child, and then finally having Yitzchak, and then the Akedah's Yitzchak. All this, they lived together for so many decades, and now he has to be, he has to hold a hespit for Sarah. He's gonna, of course, think about his own personal loss as well. And in the tears, and in the eulogy, in the hespit, will also be his own personal personal hurt. Is that really Lispad Lissara Vilif Kaisa? No, that's not Lispad Lissara. Says the Shem Shmuel. Avram Avinu had such a high level of chesed, such a refined, such a purity in his chesed, that when he gave a hesped on Sarah, he completely blocked out his own emotion, and he cried because of the loss of Sarah. Laman Sarah, and only Laman Sarah, Lispad Lissara Vilif Kaisa. He was able to completely focus on the loss of Sarah in this world. HaKadosh Baruch lost a soldier in this world. There's, there's a there's a tzaddik missing in the world. There's a light missing from the world. That's what he cried about, and that's what everybody saw. And he wasn't thinking about his own loss at all during the hespid and during the because that's the level of chesed of Avraham Avinu. That's what the pasuk in Mishlei is saying. From the hespid of Sarah, from the fact that he came from Terah, he didn't have to bury that. No, he did it chesed. 
comes to Sarah, he doesn't think about his own loss. He cries only for Sarah. He completely focuses on the Hesped of Sarah, not on the Hesped of Avram, not on the loss that Avram is missing his wife. No, he cries and he's Masped Sarah herself. That's the level of Chesed that the Pasuk in Mishlei is talking about. Somebody who's ready to of a Chesed, somebody who runs after Tzlok of a Chesed. That's Avram Avinu, who is Masped Sarah. Can you imagine reaching such a high level? Of course, it's so far from our level, but on a certain level, on, on our, each person on his level, to try and focus, maybe we can learn from Avram, to try and focus just a little more bit. When we do our acts of chesed, are we thinking really about ourselves? Are we thinking about how other people view us? Oh, this guy's about chesed. Wow, you know how many people he helped. Or are we thinking about really the people who we're helping? That's the level of chesed that a person should strive for. Our aspiration should be that we should try to reach Masay Yagiyu, like the part, like the mission of it says, when we should somehow touch Yagiyu Maise, that our, our action should touch the, the Maise of our office. We should reach a little bit the level of chesed, at least learn from how important it is to focus on the needs of other people. When we do our chesed, we should think about just, about just the chesed itself that we're doing, not thinking about ourselves, the Chavez.